Remove a card, obtain three random potions, transform two cards. You know what? Transform two cards. I'm feeling lucky. And that run started off quite sexy because we got two elite snipes. Ended quite ugly. Sometimes in life, that's how it works out. If I go for transform two cards, I'd take an early elite and then... Okay, we'll do it. Boom. Bam, bam. Thank you, man. I don't know about that. At least... At least there is some synergy between those two cards. You know what I mean? At least there's that. It's not a chord. It's like a... Um... It's a plastic... He's not breaking it or anything like that. It's like a ru rubbery thing. I reckon he's fine. It's it's like a rubber thing that you use to work out. Should I not let him do that? Because he doesn't break it. But it's good for his teeth because he likes to bite it. It's like very durable for his teeth. It's like rubber. I got him two toys. I have him two toys. He's like he's like almost a year now, but I, I've got him toys. He's working out. He's, he's working out his jaw. You see that he's doing that little. He, look at his form. His technique's impeccable. God, the resistance training is insane. My dog's a damn Olympian. Jeez, look at the mouth on that boy. Oh, now he's shy. Okay, so we got cow traps. Deadly poison. Deflect. I like Caltrops for the Guardian. These are all good options, guys. Mm. Boston Terrier. It's not a French Bulldog. There's... So there's there's a distinct difference. You can tell. So I, I'll be. I'll be. Look up. Hey, there you go. Good boy. Good boy. Now look. So you see how you see his face? Okay, that's like... That's a typical Boston face. Now, Frenchies would have a fatter face. They would have a fatter body, too. If you notice, he has a very small, springy body. It's a typical Boston face right there. Beautiful boy. Come here, buddy. Love you, boy. Okay. Let's do Caltrops. Wow. For some reason, my camera is so much closer than it was before. Sneaky Strike has been doing work, guys. Believe it or not, Sneaky Strike has been doing some work. I might upgrade Sneaky Strike. Concentrate, go full discard, full YOLO, but what? It, that, that's going to be awful because... Um, I wouldn't have no cards to play after, right? I would need expertise. Okay, so we have flying knee, quick slash as options. I'm thinking quick slash or flying knee. Not quite sure which one though. Let's get a quick slash or play. I've been playing with flying knee a lot in general. Get cut trips out of the way, sure. Yeah, if you have reflex tactician, if you have expertise in particular, it's definitely good. I'm hoping to get that curse again and sneak strike again. I got that again. Sick, sick. How useful is it? Not very. Cloak and dagger tactician. Wow, okay. So we're going kind of discardy. Uh, so that gives us energy when we discard it. Now, that's a good start. There's a lot of things I need to work around that. We need card draw, acrobatics, backflip, ex 
expertise potentially. Now I kind of regret not taking the concentrate. Is that an archetype I'm trying to go for? You want to commit? You want to commit? We're committing. Am I regretting this? Not yet. So yes, we do have to upgrade the gamble, but before we do that, I'm going to upgrade some damage because we're going for an elite. So I'm going to probably upgrade the sneaky strike. Although the neutralize is pretty good too. Mm, this is not the best upgrade. I should not be attacking that one, my bad. Whoopsies. Ooh, na na na. It's a wonderful thing that you're talking to me. See, if I attack this guy, this guy would be dead this turn. I, I made huge mistakes, boys. Massive mistake. This is why you attack the guy on the left first. The guy who's not, the guy who's doing the scaling, you attack first. Oh well. Oh well. Skewer piercing will bane. I like skewer with tactician and just like skewer in general for the, the damage. Although I think piercing will might be better just have a nice defensive like pseudo AoE. Pierces are weaker in discard deck, yeah. Because you can you can manage them easier. Do I want the skewer or do I want the piercing will? We could argue that like a sneaky strike is kind of like our skewer a little bit. But I think skewer is always good. Okay, what do we got? Laga. Laga. Okay, let's get rid of the curse and then we'll start. I could start there. I could have done skewer right there. Ah, oh, that works. Does that end up doing more damage? So I do one mana, so it just brings it down to 14. So play this for 14. Get the energy back. Let's do another 14. Yeah. I might have to end up using Fairy in the Bottle. I go YOLO. So I can get Sneaky Strike here, which in turn gives me Quick Slash. Unfortunately, that's as far as the card draw goes. If I can go past that, then maybe it's a good turn. Skewer is 15. This is better than Skewer right now. So if I do this... I could play Sneak Strike and Skewer. Which is going to be 22 damage. It's not quite enough, but... This Elite's going to kick my ass anyways. Now you could argue I could take my time. Because Cow Traps is going to do some damage. I was trying to get Fairy in the Bottle, and maybe I will. Is it worth it? Because I hardly ever get Fairy Bottle used anyways. Better needle's worth it. I like that. Heel hook, blade dance, bane. That's not, that's a, that was a hard elite. It's really early, that elite. Heel hook. If I upgrade the neutralize, I don't mind the heel hook. But I don't have that much weaken. Right now, heel hook's a little bit awkward. I'm gonna skip. Hourglass is very good. If I can just stabilize and survive these next couple floors, these are all very good. If I can stabilize here. All I gotta do is block, 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 because our hourglass is gonna do work. So we do have thread needle, so we have four extra. Gotta keep that in mind. So if I block, block, I have 14. They're doing 14. I'm good. So I have enough to do a skewer. I can do quick slash, better than the skewer. And now I can do cow traps. I got a skewer twice for lethal. Whoops. See me? I'm not thinking properly. I had a uh, screw for lethal. Doesn't matter though. GG. Okay. Acrobatics for the tactician. It, it seems awkward, but I feel like if we can get acrobatics on top of the tactician, we can start doing some crazy stuff. It could be interesting. 
Give me interesting. Let's give it a whirl. Let's rest. This deck is mm, has potential. Just needs to be fleshed out. Twenty-one. Fourteen. Decent damage. Hey, no sorry, take care, man. Hello, goodbye. Glass knife. Slice is kind of interesting because I can just, you know, play it. And glass knife is pretty damn good. It gets worse and worse and worse, especially if I'm going for like a very cycling deck. Like if I'm cycling with calculated and acrobatics and tactician, this keeps getting worse and worse, but it's still very good. I think cow chops is something to consider. We just play that, both of them. Thread and needle, keep blocking, and let the guardian kill himself. The boot does counteract last night. That's interesting. Interesting uh, interaction. Malaise. Oh, I've only I could afford malaise. So we need card draw. So I think the backflip is looking nice. I think panacea is something to consider. We can take panacea. And, and already I see the panacea has benefits with the speed pot. I see panacea having benefit against the chosen. So I like it. As a tech, but then it lowers my rest of my plays, right? So it's basically Panacea versus backflip well laid or remove backflip or, you know, remove well laid. So, yes, Panacea is kind of interesting, especially with Speed Pot. That's like guaranteed. Like if I don't use it for this boss, which I don't think I need to, I do it for the next boss. I, that'd be probably, probably guaranteed win against the Chosen, which is, I think Chosen is one of my threats because I have so many skill cycles. Panacea versus backflip well laid. Yeah, no, well laid is always really good. One well laid makes a huge difference. The ability to retain it makes a huge difference. It's really important. Panacea. I mean, with this potion already, it's, it's looking pretty nutty, right? Is it worth it just for that? Just, just to get by this fight? And know for a fact it's going to be good against the Frail in Act 2. It's going to be good against the Chosen in Act 2. <sighs> okay. So, now it's between removal or backflip. Now, we can remove a strike, and then the deck becomes smaller, and we're more often going into our Skewer, Sneaky Strike, Tactician, Cycling, Banana. Bonanza. <laughs> banana. Which might be better than backflip. Now, the problem here is I'll probably have to upgrade the Calculate Gamble. So I can keep playing that, or I could upgrade the tactician and just kind of get that out of the way. Although the energy is not as important as perhaps the ability to do this. That's a lot of upgrades I need. It's good against Tentacle Dude as well, but the thing about Tentacle Dude is that he keeps trying to play his thing, his debuff. I kind of want to cycle this to see what I get. And I'm gonna get Tactician guaranteed. So we've already cycled our whole deck in one turn. Now, if we had Sundial, that'd be sick. I could proc him now, which is probably pretty important, I would say. I was gonna maybe look for like. I think I should have done Quick Slash again to find. Sneaky Strike. Hello, Cypria. How you doing? Did you figure out some of your woes? Oh, instead of doing that, I should have done acrobatics, maybe. This gives me energy back. Which works out. Get rid of that curse, finally. Okay. So we're gonna lose our plated armor by, by taking these hits. If I do this, only taking six damage and only losing two plated armor. If I do this, I take no damage at all. But I kind of want to save it for a better turn. If I do ghost in the draw, I can do like glass knife skewer straight up. I'll use it. Fuck it.
a sheaf. I upgraded neutralized, the weakening would be much more impactful. That's problematic. I gotta upgrade neutralized as well. Just don't forget mistake, but I've been doing less mistakes than before, that's for sure. Nice, man. That's, that's all that matters. As long as you're making a little less mistakes, that's all that matters, man. And you're, you're gonna get the hang of it. I would say, from, from what I saw, you definitely were taking some cards that were just... Yeah, they had some synergy, but they were also... They just weren't good by themselves. Like, imagine a turn where you have... And you're that one deck I saw. Imagine a turn which you draw two angers, uh, a clash, and, like, something else. Like, and if it doesn't do lethal damage, let's say they're doing, like, 15, 20, 30 damage, you're just taking that to the face. And it's just, like... Consistent defense is the most important thing. That's why Anger is not very good unless you have Unceasing Top to mitigate the downside of the card draw. Without Unceasing Top, I don't really think Anger is... Also, Anger could be a way to dump your strength with, like, Demon Form decks, but even then, it's like... You should be careful with it. Cool deck. I think if we get some upgrades, get a couple more cards, this deck is kind of nice. Adrenaline bursts. Da da da. Now bursts. Right now. Doesn't do that much for me. If I had Tinkshot top bandages, then burst cock with the was pretty sick. This one. I think Drown is a play. Why would Burst be easy here? It's a little bit later. Yes, Lucky. A little bit later. It's, it's probably be my last run just because it's getting to the point where I gotta feed my dogs. Yeah, it's good in a discard deck if discard relics, but without... So, so Burst, yes. Burst Acrobatics. A lot of card draw. And maybe if I don't get the Tactician on the first fish, then I would get Tactician on the second one. And Burst Cockle Gamble, yes, but if you ha if you don't have Tincture or Tough Bandages, there's no really big point in doing that. Mm, I don't know, I think Adrenaline is probably just better here. Although, even Dada Dai is kind of an interesting play. We don't have any AoE. That's 13 just front-loaded AoE damage. Hmm. This deck is really weird, actually. <laughs> it's lacking a lot of power, I would say. The power is in cycling back and back and back into sneaky strike and stuff like that. And like doing more a lot per turn. But the burst has like no payoff right now. Um, I think adrenaline can give me longer turns, which can help me set up turns where I'm doing acrobatics into tactician into sneaky strike and doing more and more stuff. Like our strength right now is I think of doing a lot of cards per turn. I think adrenaline plays into that. So I'm gonna I'm give it a whirl. No longer Smith. You can no longer see their intentions. Okay, well, I think smithing's gonna suck because we have a lot of cards I want to upgrade, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But discard decks don't always go infinite because uh, there's a lot of things to consider. You have long turns. Going infinite is harder than it seems. And you're going against Zono and Deca. You can say goodbye to that because of Because of the days. There's statuses that can mess you up. There's Ascender's Bane to begin with. If you don't have things like Concentrate and Unceasing Top, I don't see how infinite is the thing. I mean, yeah, I guess if you keep the deck small, I could see it. I want to play Cow Chops. That was a sick turn. That was a sick turn. Hey, we just attacking everybody, yep. Like okay, area of effects attacking everybody, yep. Area of effects attacking everybody. Okay. Uh, we got backflip. I think we can take a backflip. I, I I like it. Cycle and draws the nuts. Another tactician. So now we're gonna go in places. A double tactician. 
could keep drawn into acrobatics and keep discarding. This could get interesting with calculated gamble acrobatics. This could get interesting, especially if I upgrade them. Now, unfortunately, I can't buy that in footwork, can I? I can. Cannot. Three gold off. I did the math wrong. Fuck it. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm committing. I'm committing. Hey, let's remove a strike. I'm committing. This deck is 21 cards. Remove again. Honestly, I might remove. Yes, we get upgraded strikes and defense. So there's five defense upgraded. But I'm going to remove. I'm committing. I'm removing. We're really going in, baby. Tactician. Ah. It's a lot of tacticians. Damn. I got you, buddy. It's not even worth to do that right now. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, brother. Okay, we need we need more. We need more uh, acrobatics. I would reckon. Not bad though. The deck's interesting. Deflect. I like it. Okay, let's upgrade. Acro for more card draw, and Tactician for energy. <laughs> Alright, there's a lot of cards I'm playing right now. I like it. I like it. And if we just happen to get Tincture or Tough Vantages, this is going to be sick. Season tap, sundial, yes. This is sick, guys. Tactician, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And the fact that we have cow traps and Mercury Hourglass is oof. Another calculated gamble. Mmm. Wow. Now Big fan of YouTube from YouTube. I get a lot of entertainment out of them. Thank you for your work. Hey, no problem, Jop, uh, Jop Londu. Hey, welcome to the stream, dude. Now, do we want to do an elite? So, the slavers might mess it up because of the wounds. I think the Book of Stabbing could be problematic, although we do have some mitigation. I still think he's problematic. Book of Stabbing, for sure. Although, Cow Traps doesn't work, right? Plus, Mercury Hourglass. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Cow traps, survivor. Interesting. 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 What an interesting turn. Got a lot of important stuff out. Got to upgrade that neutralized. A lot of upgrades we need. All right, let's do it again. Weaken again. If I can get the weaken every single turn just like that, then I'm happy. Go for a big skewer. Decent size skewer. Still doing a lot of damage though. I'm gonna have to block bot next turn. Depending on what I get. I think my block bot here. Oh, maybe even speed power was better there, probably. So far, so good. I haven't taken damage. Now, this could be a really good turn for us. If I get discard, if I get acrobatics, GG. G fucking G. G fucking G boys. Get wrecked. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Another sneaky strike to really go in with the archetype of sneaky, sneaky, sneaky strike. Lexi Plus, I mean, it's 14 block three week, and it's so hard not to say yes to that. So tempting. Even the terror is kind of interesting because we have glass knife. We have glass knife, skewer, and sneaky strike. Terror is just great. Now, who's the boss? Yeah, I think terror is fantastic. It also gets out of the cycle, so we don't have to worry about it in the cycle. Sneaky Strike 
It's another card that just keeps doing the thing, you know, that we're doing. I think it's Lexi, which is great. This is so hard. This is pretty hard. Um, ultimately, what's the weakness of my deck? And what do, what do these cards achieve? You know what I mean? So, so Terra is like, gives us a lot more damage. And gets out of the cycle. So we keep doing our thing. Now, Leg Sweep is upgraded. So it's a lot of value for two right now. No. He's sitting here trying to, he's waiting for me to, to, to feed him and stuff. He's, he's sitting here crying for me. Okay, so let's upgrade the Tacticians so that Leg Sweep's a little bit easier to play. Let's upgrade the Neutralize. We need Couch Traps. We need to upgrade the Couch Traps as well for this guy. Acrobatics. Sick. The gift that keeps on giving. Hey, let's go through the whole deck. Why not? Let's go through our whole deck. Why not? A lot of good upgrades. Oh my god, dude. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't believe you. It says if it's... Would deal four less unblocked attack damage. So if I do... It does five instead. Is that how it works? Oh, I only had one energy. Oh my god, I only had one energy. I'm oh, doesn't matter. Tactician. Doesn't matter. Wow. Backstab? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I know it's unblocked. I thought I'd had 14 though. I thought I had skewer for two energy. I only had one energy. If it was two energy, it was fine. Um take backstab. Acrobatics on this one would be fantastic. Acrobatics, please. I mean, this is pretty good, too. That's a lot of energy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. One of the leather things? Uh, I'm not sure we talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got into that. I think it's in the room somewhere. Those turns, man. These turns are insane. Time Eater is the only thing I, I would say, like, punish me, you know? These turns are insane. Fantastic. Fantastic, guys. Jesus Christ. Heel Hook's fine, because I have a lot of source to weaken. I got the Leg Sweep, right? So we have Heel Hook... For the neutralized and the leg sweep, I think the heel hook's just fine. Um, we got through the book of stabbing. I think we can handle the other ones, no problem. Okay, there's a few things we want to upgrade. The cow traps, the neutralize, the skewer, the tactician again. What's the more important? I would say, why not get more energy? Please. No. Okay. Oh, this is my last one. I was letting her know that she can walk the dog too. <laughs> Not to be a dick or anything, but... Anyways, we got this. Let's do this. Let's just go. Uh, tactician. Sneaky strike. Last knife. Leg sweep skewer. 
I don't think he's attacking this turn, but just in case. Give me acrobatics, give me discard. I don't think he's attacking. He doesn't attack when he doesn't have minions, and it's very rare when he does that. <laughs> very rare, he said. Kappa. Very rare when he has no minions. Very rare. <laughs> okay, well, let's end it. GG, boys. Sneaky Strike OP. I love Sneaky Strike. When, when your Sneaky Strike gets off the way like this, it's so good. I mean, this deck is fantastic. And Sneaky Strike is very good if you have a deck that works for it. Tools of the Trade. I mean, doesn't that kind of work beautifully? Okay, Tools of the Trades it is. My dog's trying to roll back, guys. I'm going to have to walk him. I, I'll be back. I think Upgrading Skewer is not bad. Cow Trap's not bad. Adrenaline. It's not bad. I think making this free is not bad either. A lot of good stuff. Wally plans, not so much. Neutralize, kind of like neutralize upgrade as well. Mm, but I cycle my deck so much that this neutralize upgrade is not as good. So this would be a good way to get damage with Skewer. All right, I'll be right back, boys. I really have to walk my dad, dog. Um, I'm going to have to I'll put a YouTube video up, I guess. I suppose we'll put a YouTube video up. I'll try to be quick. Um, I'll be back in five, seven minutes, guys, because this is around the time I gotta walk my dog, so he's crying his ass off. I'm probably gonna finish this run, and then we're gonna go get off. Let me just walk my dog real quick. Alright, guys. Welcome back. Sorry, it wasn't too long. It was quicker than usual. If you guys want to finish that, I'll put the YouTube for those who haven't seen it. Alright. So where do we leave off? Discard deck. Shenanigans. Lots of them. Okay. All right, so first turn. Let's play this, play that. Let's play this. Let's play that. Let's play this. Let's play that. This. Decent. Got a lot of important powers out. Now, these powers are the powers that are kind of mess up my cycle, but now that I have tools of the trade, I can do things like this, and my turns just get spicier. Now, if I feel like I have enough block, which I feel like I might, I can just skew her right now. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Now, Sneaky Strike just becomes amazing. Absolutely amazing. I should probably get rid of that curse at some point, but like... Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh. It's disgusting, boys. Absolutely disgusting. This is filthy. What a filthy deck. I could just skew it right now for 60. Because he's not attacking, right? But I could try to do more as well. But let's get rid of the curse once and for all, right? Curse, finally get out of the way, and now if you start doing some crazy stuff. Absolutely filthy deck. Acrobatic is the play, my bad. Should have played acrobatics. It's all good. Not too punishing. But definitely should have played acrobatics. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I want to kill these things, of course. Hmm. Um, 
Let's see what we got here. I could do this. Speed pipe, I'm feeling like I'm, I feel like they're doing some some damage. Probably should have done it since the beginning, but I don't know. I could have done a ghost in the jar all the same as well. Oh no, he wasn't attacking. I mean whatever. That's that's the That's the downside I would say of So the the glass knife just works with the boot so well. Sneaky strike. This is crazy. Oh my lord. Unblocked attack damage. Noted. Calculated gamble. That's a decent amount of damage. Can we do better? I feel like... I'm curious to see how the glass knife works when it's doing zero. Does it do anything? No, it does nothing. Okay, that makes sense. So it, it does get... It has diminishing returns. Okay, I should have... I should have done the ghost in the jar. I, uh... Fucking up a little bit. But we, we should have lethal right here. Alright. We're fine. We're alive. That's all that matters. I could have easily died there. We had Nightmare Summer Steel Throws of the Trade. So Tools of the Trade, we already have... So we're going to draw 7, discard 2, which will guarantee that our cycle goes off. We have Nightmare, Storm of the Steel. Um, Nightmare, what is a good target for it? I think a good target for Nightmare could be... Calculated Gamble. It could be... Acrobatics for Nightmare. But that's kind of awkward. Adrenaline, even. Tactician. Tactician, too many tacticians could be crazy. I think Sneaky Strike is actually good... For Nightmare, but then that could also be kind of hairy as well. You think Stormer Steel is a good finisher? Hmm. Nightmare Cow Traps is true. Stormy with a 10 card hand is a good option for this deck. Stormy with a 10 card hand. We have the boot, so we could make the, them do a little more damage. So it could probably do up to like 50 damage. What's up? I have the STD. So we're still could do up to 50 damage. It won't be doing 50 damage all the time. It's going to be armor involved. I think if we Nightmare, we can get more draw whenever we need it. We can Nightmare the Acrobatics so we can keep doing Tactician. I think Nightmare is the play. I'm, I, I I like it. That's just my, that's my play style. So we can do Ori. Look for more card draw. We can do Tiny House just to give max HP and upgrade. Card. Potion. I love all those things. Or Pandora's. Pandora's is no, but Ori maybe. More Tacticians. More Acrobatics. Another Sneaky Strike. I might come back for that, but... Okay, wow. There's... What the flip? They're all so good. Calculate Game of Plus. Acrobatics, escape plan. Concentrates, interesting. Cow traps again, footwork plus. Wow, these are some good ass options, bro. I'll take the footwork plus. Another footwork, deflect. Do I want another footwork? If we're thinking about the awakened one, do we want another footwork? Would I play that against the awakened one? Would I rather just want to deflect? I might just want to deflect. Okay, so there's acrobatics here or calculate gambles. I can do acrobatics here and then do calculate gamble here. I think. Sneaky strike, yes, it's nice, but I think I'll do this. And then the dagger spray, it's a little necessary. It could be I do I do need some AoE, but I think concentrate, just keep going, guys. Now, another footwork or deflect. I think one footwork is enough. Yeah, my face game has gone dark. Yeah, because I don't usually stream at this time, so it gets super dark. Super bright, too. That's better. 
I mean, it's dark, so it's going to have a little bit more a different ambiance to it. Time Eater. Alright, so I think he's one of the harder uh, opponents for this deck. But I actually think Donut Deck is pretty difficult because of the days. The days of Donut Decca is going to be quite significant. Now, there's two Force Elites. So Giant Head, I think, should be okay. Um, for the Time Eater, so instead of going so hard and ham on this discard synergy, we need to get like a Terror. That would be nice. A Malaise would be nice. Two Force Elites no matter what. That's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> okay, so we got Survivor Tactician. Sneaky. Skewer right here. I mean, we can do a lot more with this turn. Let's just kill him. Now, this guy's a little awkward because I can't really kill this guy. I guess I could just defend non-stop. Technically. And uh, just let the hourglass take care of it. I could try to get enough block to do skewer. So like right now, if I do skewer four, taking 36 back. So I'll take this, skewer for three. Cool. Terror. We talked about something like terror. That's a yes. Whoa, we got Prismatic Shard. Is that the way we finish it? Did we finish it with the Prismatic Shard to add a little spicy meme to it? Add a little spicy meme. It's finally come back. It's in the title. Prismatic Shard won't escape me this time. And this time I've come with a deck ready for it. You say it's cursed, I say. Bring it on, baby. Show me your curse. Shit, it's already giving me curses. It's already giving me curses. Two madness? Madness in this deck. We can manage the curses. One ride is not too bad. We'll remove it if we can, but one ride is not too bad. We manage that bad boy. I should have done Wally Plants. Oh my god, this might be a bad turn. Acrobatic save us. Acrobatic save us. Acrobatic save us. Oh, we gotta kill this dude. I, I just, I don't trust it. That's probably a mistake, but fuck it. Come on, acrobatics. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Why, why out of all things, this is what I chose to do. I, I hope they're not attacking. Oh, God. We're fine. That was questionable plays by me. Oh my god. Nightmare is so awkward. I'm just gonna use it. Fuck it. Fights like this are a little bit hard for me, I would say.
Not too bad. Oh, what the hell am I looking at? What the hell am I looking at? I regret this. No, we're not going to regret it. We're not going to regret it. We're going to find something that's going to be amazing. Unceasing tap? It's going to be pretty sick. Jump flying, do one second. Jump flying, do uh, jump flying, do thank you for the fish fan, man. Welcome to the germ pool. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I was thinking about what I could do against this slime guy. He's like he's looking for rampage. His name is Spiky Boy. Oh boy. Jesus. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Alright, that's good. I just don't want to play heal because this guy does 13 damage back. I'm a little bit more cautious around this man. Okay. Peace pipe. Wait. Someone just mentioned peace pipe. Every run's a peace pipe. I got a peace pipe. So we're going against Time Eater. Going against Time Eater. We have another Steam Barrier offered to us. Now, wait, another Steam Barrier? Oh, I thought it was Deflect. We have a Steam Barrier, which is worse than Deflect. It's strictly worse than Deflect. I mean, okay, there's two block more to, to, to start with, but it gets worse and worse. And in a deck that skills as much as me, it will start getting worse. Um... Do I want it? I already have two deflects. I could have maybe afford. I think I'm gonna pass. I don't, I don't know. Now, do I want to upgrade? It? There's a couple things I want to upgrade. Like I want to upgrade the next acrobatics to get more card draw. I want to upgrade the Wally plants potentially. But I also kind of want to toke out this writhe. Now that I have the option to. Upgrade all cards, you can no longer heal. If I upgrade all cards, I don't think I need to heal. Is that risky of me? I don't think I need to heal if I upgrade all cards. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Let's hope I'm not wrong. Should I just kill the guy straight up? No, let's, let's, let's go for it. Oh god. This might be a... Uh... Well, let's see what we get here. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here, sneaky strike. Oh my god. Alright.
These, car these guys are annoying. Oh boy. Sneaky strike, baby. Red Wolf was Blade Dance Flex. Pass. It's a pass for me. Bottle Lightning. Lysane Rip. Why did you say rip? I think acrobatics is, helps me get the best starting turn. Uh, there's also nightmare. So like, if I do nightmare first turn, I get it out of my deck and I can potentially have a really crazy start. I can always do nightmare backstab if I want to kill something. Oh, rip to prismatic shards, yeah. We could do bottle terror. Yeah, bottle terror is not as good as it seems, I think. I mean, it's not bad, bottle terror is not bad, but I feel like, okay, so first turn, like acrobatics or adrenaline is very nice. I even think first turn nightmare is kind of nice as well. Do we want flex? Yeah, but what is flex offering for me? Yeah, I can play it and keep cycling it. But I guess the time meter, I don't know if flex is worth it. Could be. Let's do acrobatics. I don't think acrobatics can help us get all those things. Now, since I don't want to do two elites back to back because I can't rest and I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to take damage. So I'm going to go for the event because I don't need. If I'm going to the campfire, it's to upgrade, and I don't necessarily need to upgrade. And when I get the strawberry, it doesn't heal me, which sucks. And this is the guy I was scared about, so I was thinking, okay, we have Nightmare Acrobatics to keep drawing. We have Nightmare Sneaky Strike just to keep doing damage. I think that could be nutty. Nightmare Heal Hook could be kind of nutty as well, in my opinion. I think Nightmare Heal Hook could be very nutty against this guy. So can Sneaky Strike. Nightmare Adrenaline is good for one kind of turn, but it exhausts, whereas Heal Hook keeps going and going and going and going. Especially against a guy who's slow. Want to try on hand size? I don't like the numbers, no. I don't like the numbers. I think we'll do Nightmare Hill Hook. Although, Sneaky Strike is an option as well. Because Sneaky Strike is equally as free, but it doesn't draw like Hill Hook. I'm do Nightmare Hill Hook. Oh god, this is going to be a crazy turn, boys. Be a crazy turn, boys. Voice crack, guys. This is gonna be a crazy turn. That's my first turn, guys. That's my first turn. A knock you hook coming to play, guys. Get this out of the cycle. Get this out of the way. Oh god. Heel hook again. Concentrate this. Heel hook again. Sneaky strike. Acrobatics. Heel hook again. Give me some card draw. Acrobatics. Heel hook again. Oh my goodness. Do it all over again. Oh my goodness. Now, if I would have done... If I would have done... Now, let me just say, we got Bottle Flame. Now, if I would have done... Bottled Nightmare, which I thought about. Then bottled the Heel Hook right now. This would be insane. But anyways. Tactician again. Do we want the third Tactician? Do we mind the third Tactician? I only need to win now. I don't think I'm on third tactician. I think I, I think I can do it. I, I think so. I, let's take a, let's not get too carried away against time meter. I don't think we mind another tactician now. Bottle flame though. Backstab kappa. No, we can do sneaky strike or heel hook. I think there's both option. Op, awesome options. Even neutralize is not bad. I like the heel hook. Um, uh oh. Let's 
Yeah, I gotta be careful with... Oh, it's not drawing my full hand just because of... Uh, I want to try looking for, to be honest, I want to try looking for Nightmare for Heel Hook again. And we got it, boys. We fucking got it. That's exactly what I want to try to do. Against Time Eater, I'm going to have to pick something else. So, against these guys, I like that. Time Eater, what do I want to duplicate? I think Footwork against Time Eater. I think Footwork's going to be the Nightmare target. I think Footwork against Time Eater is going to be GG. Ooh, the energy. How much damage is that? A shit ton. Whew. Whoa! <laughs> Claw. White noise. Scrape. Scrape can be a w good way to cycle. But what is it drawing? It's drawing into, uh, Scrape is drawing into... While they draw, uh, Adrenaline, Calculator, Gambles, Deflect, Backstab. It's drawing into Tools of the Trade, maybe. Deflects, Concentrates, Terror. Let's try Scrape out, that's interesting. Man, my first turns are snutty. Great. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that was awkward. No, they hit me. I bled. I hate it. Don't make me bleed. Yeah, bastards. That's why you just don't do calculate game like back to back like that. That's why the third tactician is a little bit weird. I might do nightmare. I should have done nightmare. Um, fifteen, fifteen. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. No, I take one damage again. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Ooh. One, two. I need more defense. Taking so long, sorry. This damn, this damn guy. Okay. Whoa, hand a green melter. <laughs> These are not the options. These are not the options. These are not the options. Prismatic shard is how to not get cards you want. All right, prismatic shard. I think you can make for interesting runs, but. I think you dilute a lot of, cause there's you're getting you're getting sets from three common pulls, the common pulls from the defects, silent, and the ironclad. So you're actually muddling. I don't know. I think you're getting some bad cards. Let me go ahead and on the records and throw that out there. A little late for hand agreed. It's never too late for hand agreed. Did I have lethal there for skewer? I think I did. Oopsies. So we're looking for nightmare footwork uh, for the time meter. And skewer's gonna be a way to do damage.
Nightmare of Horrorwork and Screws away to do damage. Go for the eyes is kind of weird. Dude. Meh. And we could toke out something. We could toke out the the last tactician I took, or we could upgrade the last tactician I took. I think the cursed shard is I think I've finally broken the spell. I think prismatic shard is. I think scrap's a little awkward. So scrap is interesting because scrape scrape is um it does their scar tactician. The script does discard tactician. Let's upgrade this is upgrade the last tactician and make this deck completely upgraded. It's only right. It's only right. Alright boys. We're looking for nightmare footwork. Let's get this out of the way. Pretty sure nightmare footwork is to play. Let me think maybe there's something something better. I think Nightmare Forward is the play. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, if I do this, it's down to 7. Discard that. It's down to 6. We have a full hand. Nope. It, the discard comes after. Whoops. I really want to find footwork. I really want to find footwork. There it is. Only problem is. Nightmare is discarded. So we're going to have to cycle right back into Nightmare. Should be relatively easy. Now, you know, Nightmare Cow Traps is not bad either. But Terror now. Cycle the deck. So I lost the card draw there. That, that was unfortunate because I would have liked the backflip, but... And I think it might have gotten rid of... Okay, it can get rid of Nightmare, so that was a, s a risky play. I'll play this. Alright. I'm spending a lot of cards per turn. That's for sure. Let's try to defend as much as we can. And we're going to be getting Nightmare for work very soon. I might just do Ghost in a Jar here. It's probably premature, but fuck it. I think the next boss is a little bit easier, although Dorn's like it could be hard. Okay. Nightmare Heal Hook? No, no, no. Concentrate? No. So we do Nightmare Footwork. Acrobatics for Tactician, yes. Footwork, Deflect, Calculate Gamble. Should probably get rid of the curse at this point. I, I don't have a gauge of how much damage he's doing, let's find out. I don't know how strong he is. Let's do 9 times 3 there, okay. 1, 2. Let's, uh... Bam. Bam. Okay, start doing damage now. See, discard a tactician for me. I'm playing so many cards per turn. I don't know if this is... I guess skewer. Do so concentrate for skewer. Let's defend. That could be bad because next turn I only have two cards. That could be pretty bad. Let's hope that he's he's gonna be healing, so he's doing nothing. So we'll just we'll proc him. We'll just proc him. I got rid of the slime, my bad. Okay. Alright. Now we don't have Terror anymore, but this is one that really starts to get 8 strength. That's kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm playing this a little bit wrong. 
So that's a skewer. Maybe do leg sweep and then skewer. Okay. Get back into skewer. There's the skewer. Uh, we can try to get a tactician. E. We'll get a better skewer turn than this. Hmm. It's getting strong as fuck. Yeah, this is awkward. That is not a good skewer. We're gonna have to hope for the best here. Oh. Oh, this could be nutty. This could be nutty. Oh. It's 15 times eight. If I do 15 times 10, it's 150. It's very close. Can I make it lethal? How do we make this lethal? It's 150. Ooh. See what we draw? Hmm. Can we... So what can we draw into? We can draw into heel hook. We can draw into sneaky strike. Scrape could give me... Uh, both my tacticians are there, but Scrape can give me... Calculated gamble, but that's not very good. It can give me the tactician. If I get lucky, but it can also, mm, I think backflip. So Scrape can give me Tactician. Hmm. Let's backflip here. Uh, okay, this is fine because I still get some decent block. I think I block one more time and then do Skewer. You think he's going to be doing that much? He's, he just did 60 last time. He just did 60 last, last time. There's a chance he's not attacking though. So I think I'm gonna go for it. Boom. Yeah, not bad. Alright, well, who's next? Who's next? I don't know Jack. This could be bad too because of the damn days. Now, what's a good target for for Nightmare here? No, it does get discarded. Okay. So, for Nightmare, Heal Hook is interesting against these guys, but not as much because of the days. I, unless I can kill the guys with the, the guy who does the days ASAP. Nightmare Footwork is always a good option for a lot of block. But it's hard to go infinite against the guy, against Deco who's doing days, unless I can kill him in the first two turns. I could try to go for Deca and go infinite with heal hook. Footwork is always really good. 12 dexterity, 15 dexterity in total. That's that's really good. Alright. Stupid. That's nightmare right there. So we've we've got nightmare footwork. Is that the play? It's twelve dexterity right there. It could be enough to carry me over. Now, what's something that's even nuttier? Nightmare Skewer? Nightmare Skewer is weird because they don't synergize with each other. I want to get, get rid of the curse now. Uh, this is a good time.
All right, let's break the artifacts a little bit. I mean, I was going to play the uh, Tools of the Trade, but... Okay. Days already affect affects me. I've seen Cardrol. I've seen Cardrol. Days are messing me up. <laughs> All right, we gotta get the weekend finally. Um, tactician maybe. Discard it. Boom. Skewer. Pretty damn good boys. Pretty damn good. Might as well just do that as well. Oh fuck yeah. Should have done that first. I mean, no, I, I was happy with Skewer. Nice. Wow. 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 What a deck, bro. Wow. What a deck. We've had such good runs today in 2023. So the last one was 2018 for this year. This is the deck of the future five years from now. Not bad, man. Let's take a look real quick at our runs.